Hello, this is Brad Reibel from NetAlly Solutions. I am the product manager for Cyberscope, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about uh, Cyberscope and how it is just the right tool for this world of never-ending new hacks coming out. So what is it? Cyberscope is the world's first handheld cybersecurity analyzer tool. It offers comprehensive site cybersecurity assessments, analysis and reporting in one powerful tool. It offers endpoint and network discovery, wireless security, segmentation and provisioning validation, and vulnerability assessment. So let's take a look at one of those, again, never-ending litany of new hacks coming out, right? And we've probably all heard about the latest, the Terrapin attack, right? And if we take a look here, you can see that it's only less than a week ago, right? News came out, it was out there, potentially downgrading SSH protocol securities could be a, a real vulnerability. So how can Cyberscope really help solve this issue and quickly get to the problem of it and make your life easier? And again, think of this with all the different problems we have coming out there all the time. Different vulnerabilities coming out all the time. So we come into Cyberscope, you're looking at the interface right here. We come down and we just take a look at the in-map application within Cyberscope. So what I've done is I've gone out and I've created the actual Terrapin SSH in-map command that will go out and actually find that vulnerability. I've gone ahead and set up the grading requirements to test for that. There are two specific, two specific algorithms that you have to look out for. I've detected them, noted them right down there, both a warning and or error that will be called out if in fact that issue is found. Once I've done that, I come over to our discovery app and that's one of the great capabilities about Cyberscope. It's not just about executing in-map commands for scripts. It's about the holistic solution of integrating those in-map commands into either auto test or in this case, discovery. So I go out to discovery. And so this goes out and periodically does discovery of all your particular devices and your network. So I come into here, go to settings, discovery settings, go down here, go to in the in-map. I've defined the in-map test to be Terrapin SSH. So I've told Discovery, I want you to go out and rediscover all the devices. But this time, I want you also to look for the Terrapin specific vulnerability. So I do that, come back here. Let's make command line, just do a Discovery. Refresh Discovery, we'll just do a clear here. So it's now going to go out again, rediscover all the devices in the network. I've gone ahead and already run this. So you can see the results. We come over here to discovery. I ran this just earlier today. There it is. I've created the, the file Terrapin SSH attack vulnerability. I go out to the topology map. You can see here quite a few devices. Some of them are red. Let's just go ahead here and take a, do a search for Terra. Zoom this out a bit so we can kind of see. Here, search for Terra. And lo and behold, right there, that's all the time it took. Less than a couple of minutes, I've gone out and discovered all the devices in the network. And it looks like there are, there are multiple instances of the Terrapin vulnerability in this particular network. So it's very easy for you now to take steps to eliminate that by getting the patch, problem solve, and you're set to go for the next vulnerability, which of course is just the day after tomorrow or even tomorrow. Hope this helps and look for more videos on how Cyberscope can you make, make your life a whole lot easier. Thanks for listening.